Hey guys, I hope you're having a really lovely Sunday. I'm just going to introduce to you the passage that we're looking at today. And any of you that have seen Joseph in his Technicolor dream coat, you're going to love today's passage because it's all about Joseph. So the story of Joseph and his brothers is probably one of the best known stories in the Bible. Beyond his amazing Technicolor dream coat, we learn about Joseph's relationship with God, his family, and all the people that he comes into contact with in his new homeland of Egypt. Now, many of us have times where we disagree and we don't get on well with our siblings, but I don't think we'd ever go as far as selling them into slavery and then faking their death. So Joseph wasn't perfect and he didn't always get on well with his brothers, but he certainly didn't deserve to be sold into slavery and taken to Egypt. He had plenty of reasons to be mad at God for this. But instead, through the ups and downs, Joseph chose to keep trusting in God and trying to live God's way. And Joseph worked hard and he had to resist many temptations in the form of a rather forward housewife. He was open about his faith and he gave God the glory for being able to interpret dreams. He recognised that God had a bigger plan than his own and he was able to use bad situations for his own good. He was able to forgive his brothers and restore their broken relationship. Now, the news and social media is full of stories of people trying to get revenge on others. And those of us who forgive can often be portrayed as being really weak. We're given the impression that the only way to succeed in life is to take care of number one, which is us. But the forgiveness and the integrity and loyalty that we see in Joseph's life is a brilliant contrast to this and a challenge to these worldviews that we should live for God instead of ourselves. Thanks guys and I'll see you soon.